Hi, Andy. If you could... Okay, let me preface this a little bit. So, you know, yeah. like, like psychics and how they can make a, a call to someone in the afterlife? Like, Sidekicks? Psychic. Oh, psychic. Yeah, so psychic. Just imagining Robin trying to yeah. talk to his parents being like, hey, Batman, your parents hate you. <laughs> they blame you for their death. But no, if you were like a psychic yeah. and you could make like one call to someone in the afterlife, you know, that has been alive at any point throughout the, the history of the earth, who would you call? Man, it's almost like setting me up for a Ghostbusters joke, but, you know, like call Harold Ramis or something. I'm not going to do that. I'm above that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna call Hitler. You're gonna call Hitler. Yeah. Why? So you can tell me he did nothing wrong. No, you I fucking just, I, racist. You no. Know, uh, it's just to hear his side of the story. <laughs> just to hear his side of the story. <laughs> hey, did you actually have the spear of destiny? <laughs> Where'd you did find you, it? Did you um? Did were you? Did you really not like those people? Yeah, what was the deal with that? What what did they do to you? You started a war. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Adam and Andy. Hello. I'm Adam. And I'm Andy. Adam and Andy. Good eye, Mike. <laughs> that was Australian for St. Patty's Day. You, you, why wouldn't you go like, top of the morning to ya? Or oh. whale oil will be fucked. Oh. Your mother is a cunt. Oh. Oh, God. Well, that was more Irish. But that could also be Australian. Yeah, it could be. No, well, or, yeah. Okay, or, or like yeah. from the movie I Love You, Man, where Paul Rudd keeps trying to do accents. Like, you sound like a leprechaun. What are you doing? Like, why does everyone say I sound like a leprechaun? Ho, 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 can get to me lucky charms. Is that better? That was better. Okay. Thank but you. it was also super racist. Yeah, kind of like gangs <laughs> in New York. <laughs> <laughs> um, hello, YouTube, round two. Ah, yes. This is it. Hello. This is it. Um, I, I noticed in the first episode, I got to get a little bit better at cheating the camera. No, the editing side of things gets me, too. So, like, sometimes you could have looked there, but I oh, cut it to yeah, the middle yeah, one, too. There, there are a few times. I um, I really just like to throw a wrench in there for you. That's fine. I mean, I've I've kind of figured it out. It keeps you on your, on your twinkly toes. Yeah. Um, I think that that should be the primary thing for our housekeeping today. Twinkly toes? Uh, nope. Oh. Um, thank you to all of those who got on our YouTube. The turnout was pretty good. Yes, a lot more than I expected. Yeah. Especially um, for the very first round. Yeah. People really enjoyed seeing our ugly mugs. Here's the other thing. So the YouTube is good. Ah, I know where you're going. The TikTok was... Unbelievable. I was thoroughly impressed. Um, so if any of you have come here via TikTok, I'm questioning if anyone has reason being. Uh, Probably not. In the bio, again, yeah, the means of, of going from one app to the other is a little disjointed in that case. But I never said Spy Fire iTunes or anything like that. Yeah. You don't really have room to put it in the bio. No. So all I put... I got rid of, of the all caps evening booze in our bio uh -huh. um, just because it was there. And I just put Spotify, iTunes. I mean, if I could hyperlink it, I would, but I can't. Um, so that's where we Can are. Can you not? No. Nope. Oh, that's super lame. Yeah, it is. Um, but no, reaction was really good. For Poop Snake, not so much. No, no people, it did. It did kind of sputter there for a little bit. People did not like Poop Snake, um, but, but they but really enjoyed Burger King. They love Burger King. They really, really, really love Ted Cruz. That's the one where yeah. where people really yeah. enjoyed watching. Well, I mean, it. that was a great moment. So, that was can I moment. blame you? I can't. Blame me for what? The success no, of it? A general thing. It's just like, can you blame me? Oh. Okay, I was like, what, what are you things. blaming me for here? No. Um, but no, today is our St. Patty's episode. Yes, which is why I'm wearing a Dallas Stars jersey. 
Because it's green. And it's the only green article I own. On top of the other only green article you own. Well, the kind of green shirt. Is it's, that, it's green. Is that what you're talking about? It's green. The mildly green? That's green. It's like I'm baby. Gonna zoom right in on it's it. like baby puke green. So green. Okay, fair. You I'm, got me on that I'm one. I'm wearing an Ireland shirt. You are. It is very apropos. Yeah, I think it fits. Uh, what else is apropos in celebration of this episode? Ah, yes. He's been so happy about this. Oh, God. Here we go. Ready? Oh, my God. I already forgot it. Shit. This is There's not. the cameras are on. This okay. is not off to a great start. No, it's not. Okay, I can do this. Ready? And I could go higher, but... You could. Yeah. Uh, for anyone who couldn't tell what that was, uh, that was Shipping Up to Boston by... Who's that? The Flocking Mollies? I looked it up, and it's not. Who? They're the Dropkick Murphys. Yes, the Dropkick See, I Murphys. I thought it was the Flocking Mollies, too, and I couldn't find it. That's right. Now, Flocking Mollies... Uh, or Flocking Molly has some other great songs that I've yeah. karaoke Yeah. Um, I hope that was clear. <laughs> I, that, said I, I, I learned it. I learned it today. Um, and then I went shows. back, and I kept... Yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't need a round two. We do not need a round two. Fuck. God damn it. Just just put it down. Hey, TikTok. Hey, YouTube. That should be a TikTok right there. <laughs> <laughs> Although the following count goes down. Yes. Like, oh my God. That wasn't fun. No. And then we won't get the random people on like Instagram trying to tell us to like post it to like a sports website or, or some shit. Or some capital, like capital records, but not capital records. Yeah. Some weird yeah, account. Some, some weird offshoot. Company. Yeah. Yeah, so this won't be a, a story for me, mostly a, a fun fact that our yeah. uh, dear friend Piper told me earlier today that I had no okay. idea about. I love fun facts. Yes, uh, Ireland uh, apparently has a bread tax for Subway because their bread is considered uh, to have too much sugar. <gasps> ah. So it is taxed at a higher rate of like 13.5%. So Subway's bread is not bread then, just like Taco Bell's meat is not meat. Exactly. Hmm. Exactly. Just just a fun little fact there for That's you. It. I was trying to find something else yeah, to go no, with there. No, just um, a nice fun fact. You would think if Subway started uh, serving their meat on bottles of Guinness, that would pass the test. Possibly. <laughs> her, her, her. <laughs> This episode at all is, is off to just a bad oh, start. Oh, God. I can't, like, trying to find out where I am. Okay, there we go. I found the story. Anyway, um, just want to make sure I was ready to go. I think that, thank you to all of those TikTok folk. If y'all are still all watching. Uh, <laughs> my attention span's only for 60 seconds max, which is impressive because it used to be only six seconds. Yeah, what, through Vine or whatever? Mm -hmm. Well, no, now TikTok has, like, Women to dance around like naked or like half naked, so it's building that that attention span back up to where they can finally make it to the hub. Well, you know, if we're able to take attention away from that at all, that's an impressive feat. No, it's not. It is impressive. I don't want to take attention away from the hub. Well, I mean, if you listen to my mom, it's a source of CP. Well, your Which mom's another wrong. phrase of that I learned is cheese pizza. I didn't know that. No one has ever. Use CP to describe cheese pizza. No, people say cheese pizza in place of CP. Really? Yeah. There's some video I watched, and I'll go ahead and plug him now. I mean, it's really interesting. Wendigoon or something like that. But I think I've heard of that channel. He talked about um, these different tiers of like horror. and Yes. And yeah, yeah. Okay, so you know about this. Yeah. Really intense stuff. And so then he gets down to certain tiers whenever, like, it's legitimately that. And he just calls it cheese pizza. So, like, oh, okay. Not, well, that not was, a fun thing. I to think say. that was <laughs> yeah. mostly him doing that to get around YouTube censorship. Yeah, well, that and also whenever. Also, I swear, if we get striked for that garbage version of shipping up to Boston, 
I'm no going to be way. so upset. No, we did get, we got marked for our, um, for the, for the mariachi music. We did get yeah. our first YouTube strike on our first YouTube but it did, video. Well, not really a strike. They didn't pull the video. It just says, Hey, if we make money on that episode, it's not ours. All like one, one thousandth of a cent. Oh my God. I wish it was that. Maybe I would have made a penny by now. Yeah, maybe, but we're going to get bigger than Doug Bobby. There's a long way to go. <laughs> yes, there is. Is there? <laughs> We've got a lot of ground to cover for oh, that boy. one. Um, and with that, we're moving on to our evening booze. <laughs> Just sitting there panting. Just <laughs> like you walking You're upstairs. <laughs> yes. No, I, I hate your fucking stairs. Yeah. Um... Who is our favorite person next to Florida man or one? Alabama man. No, we haven't had really any stories about Alabama man. Delaware man. <laughs> no stories at all about Delaware. Yeah, I don't think there's ever been know. a story about a Delaware man. Other than Joseph Robinette Biden. Is he from Delaware? Uh, well, no, he's from Scranton, but he was a senator for Delaware, and that's where he grew up, I guess, or... Spent a lot mm. of his life. Well, Delaware know. sucks. Not interesting. Not what I'm talking about. Michigan man with suspended license appears in virtual court hearing sitting in driver's seat of car. Awesome. <laughs> Dude, that is levels of I don't give a fuck that I aspire to reach. <laughs> a Michigan man who had his license suspended appeared in a virtual court while sitting in the driver's seat of a vehicle. It happened this week in the same court where the same prosecuting attorney spotted an alleged assault suspect in the same home with the victim during a virtual court appearance. That's really sad, but moving on. The man was being sentenced after pleading to no insurance and driving with a suspended license on March 8th, but he was sitting in the driver's seat of a car during the hearing. I believe you drove wherever you are in the vehicle you're in, and you're dumb enough to go on video with with you sitting in the driver's seat of a vehicle. He couldn't even, like, like... Scoot over to the passenger seat. <laughs> My mom's driving. Yeah. <laughs> um, makes me think you haven't gotten the message, the judge said. Uh, the prosecuting attorney asked the court to impose some sort of jail penalty and said the suspect was driving in a Ford uh, with four adults and three children. One of the children not in a seatbelt doing 75 on a country road. <laughs> oh, my God. The man told the judge he was sitting in his boss's vehicle and that he didn't drive there. He said he didn't want to appear in court while at someone's house. He said his boss picks him up and takes him to work. So, the judge asked him if he wanted to pay fine or go to jail. Do you want to pay your damn fine or do you want to go to jail? You have a history of not paying your fines here in the county. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh Again, my God. that is levels of I don't give a fuck that I aspire to. <laughs> You didn't catch me. Yeah. I, Sir, you, were, you like, were in handcuffs. What if he like flips the image in the middle of the call? No, I'm in the passenger seat. Man. Yeah. <laughs> like somehow, like he just like kind of turns his webcam off or whatever, scoots over to the passenger seat, puts a seatbelt on, undoes it, and does like, I could hear you moving to the passenger seat. No, you couldn't. No, I, this is literally him. No. I, I could. Sir, are you drinking a beer? <laughs> just slowly rolls the window down. It just spits. <laughs> spits no, it. No, no. no. Uh-uh. So there's there's still beer in your beard. What? That's that's cum. I just had a John in in the car. <laughs> He's undercover. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a John. We put out we 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 put out an undercover police to catch you in the act. Yeah. Um. Really, only of just driving without a license, but for some reason you sucked off. The yeah. Guys. For some <laughs> reason you sucked the cop's dick off, and you still got the ticket for it. But now we got to think about how we got to this point because was this undercover cop like see the guy in the car and he goes, "Hey, can you um, can you drive me?" To the store? Yeah, sure. What are you what are you doing? Why why are you why are you pulling your your dick out? You're under arrest. If I suck your dick, will you not arrest me? Yes. 
Can I drive you to the store first? <laughs> <laughs> I have a court hearing uh, a court hearing here in about 15 minutes. <laughs> While he's on the video call. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the cop in the back of the seat's like. Hey, 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 judge. Hey, hey, judge. Yeah, hey, 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 judge. Don't mind hey, me. I, I know this guy doesn't pay fines, but just consider it all. Yeah. The tab covered. He, <laughs> he pays his fines in other ways. Yeah, it's okay. Don't <laughs> don't mind the beard. It actually added to it. And the judge is like, okay, wait, this is like one of those uh, pizza delivery boy situations, and we just start recording it and making <laughs> <laughs> like Like fake taxi. Yeah, just, just, have, just criminals just and they have like, cameras <laughs> in all the cars, and they're just like, "You want to, you want to pay your fine? Uh, maybe I can pay you another way." <laughs> this is illegal in so many ways, and I love it. <laughs> Where are we gonna call it? We have to call it something and then move on. Call call it something. Yeah, is it um, is it crime taxi? Is it what instead of cease and desist? What about suck and assist? I like that. Yeah. I like that. So you're under arrest and uh, I'm going to need you to suck and assist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. No, I don't want to do that. I want to do this one. You also hold on. You d- need oh, to turn the volume up. I'm sorry. I tried to catch you before you pressed it again. I like this. Yes. <laughs> oh, we lost the light bulb. Yeah. Okay. So that did get dimmer. At least it's facing you and not me. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. God, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm so glad you made that a drop. So the last few weeks I've I've been I've been coming at you with the uh, just like really sad stories. Just like yeah, l- I don't l- want any like more like, sad. like really down ones. No and, more uh, sad. And I decided this week I'm going to do something a bit different. Oh, you're looking into the light bulbs. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different. And uh, my first story is not going to be stories. They are going to be uh, some of the worst St. Paddy's Day jokes I could find. Oh, good. Yes. So the very first one. What kind of spells do leprechauns use? Lucky Charms? Nailed it. Oh. Oh. Why do leprechauns love to garden? They have green thumbs. Ooky spooky. <laughs> when does a leprechaun cross the road? Um, To get to the... No, not why did it. When does a leprechaun cross the road? St. Paddy's Day? When it turns green! Why did St. Patrick drive the snakes out of Ireland? Because he couldn't afford a plane ticket. (laughs) Oh, wait, that's not the one I wanted. (laughs) Oh, I'm going to have to pronounce this one carefully. What do you call a bad Irish dance? A, A jig? Mistake. A jig mistake. <laughs> I don't, I'm not even going to do that one. Why does that, <laughs> why does it just keep going? <laughs> it's so awkward, like how long that just drags on for. Like me as a comedian, just like up on stage, like, huh? All right, you can you can stop now. Uh, what do you what what do you call a, a leprechaun that's a thousand years old? Warwick Davis. You you call him very gold. <laughs> <laughs> it just, eh. uh. Uh, There's some of those at the end of those like, uh, yeah, they're just like really uh, sad, uh. sad sighs. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna round this out with some knock knock jokes. Oh, good. Okay, great. Knock knock. 
Who's there? Irish. Irish who? Irish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. Knock, knock. Who's there? Clover. Clover who? Clover here, and I'll tell you. I drank that whole sound bite. Knock, knock. Who's there? Warren. Warren who? Warren anything green for St. Patrick's Day? Oh, yes, we are, mate. <laughs> I'm still, I'm, my lines are crossed. Yeah, you're you're still trying to get the hang of this. Um, And that was it for, for the oh, bad jokes. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I'll get Ah, fuck me. Oh, fuck me sideways. All right. (laughs) (laughs) I like this. Uh, I'm so glad. It's so good. It's really good. It's really good. And it's crisp. Yeah. It's a a good clean cut. Let's listen to this. I like this. Nice, loud, and... Mm. I like Look at it. these other ones. You got this Owen Wilson. Wow. Wow. A weird little clip in there. Not that. You come out golden. That's what she said? That's what the leprechaun said. Mm. Mm. That's why he wants his gold back. Uh, I just want to know where the gold at. Could there be like a... um? What if... Okay, you know, not going to the next story. We're on to something here. What if... Gold is a euphemism for the leprechaun seed. And, you know, people find it and then they now have his children. The leprechaun fights this and then you have leprechaun special episodes of Maury. Okay. This could be something with like 76 year old Maury now. Is he that old? Dude, he looks his age. I don't know if he's 76. I think he might be high 60s. Man. Mari, you are old. He's 82 years old. He's 82? He's 82 fucking years old. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's 82. Mari, you are really old. I hope he's still doing that show. Yeah. That that was a college staple for me. Yeah, that was a big... Big show for me growing up in Canada um, because my grandparents only got stations over the uh, antenna they have on their roof over uh-huh. the lake. So it was all, you know, like just your normal and you know, public, not really public access, but just local stations. And those are the stations that would play Maury, right? So the good stations. Jerry, Jerry Springer. Yep. Montel. Ooh, I wonder how old Jerry Springer is. Oh, he's, he's pretty old too. Is he? Is he still alive? Yeah, he is. He's younger than Mari. He's 78. Seven. Ah, uh, okay. Very close. close. Very, very close very guess. Close. He just turned 77. And now, almost like you're watching an Animal Kingdom version of Mari, uh, here comes a story of a male polar bear who kills a female polar bear at the Detroit Zoo. Mm -hmm. A male polar bear killed a female polar bear at the Detroit Zoo when he attempted to mate. Oh. Okay. And you know what? That's really all I got to say. What? Yeah, that's about it. So repeat the whole story then. Um, well, I mean there there are there is there's a few other paragraphs to it, not really anything important, but um a male polar bear killed a female polar bear at the Detroit Zoo when he attempted to mate. What does this have to do with St. Patrick's Day? Hmm. 
You hear that um, dead air? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, because uh, you could say that the female polar bear was quite unlucky. Yeah, okay. That would work. There you go. I'll give you that one. Yeah, so stories of misfortune are anti-Irish. Maybe uh, maybe he had some of the uh, leprechaun's children on him and uh, the leprechaun cursed him. So he birthed some of the, the children too. <laughs> yeah. He just uh you know, he he cursed him. And each time that he went on to Mori and What if that's a leprechaun were born? By polar bears doing it. Man, that, <laughs> that's a that, that's an interesting way to come about. Yeah. They they would look a lot like Jim Carrey crawling out of the, the fake rhino's ass. Oh, golly me. Yeah, but it's just like a really small guy with a big old beard crawling out <laughs> of this polar oh, like bear. Me. It's just like... Yeah, imagine you with your full-sized head, but like a three-foot-nothing body. Yeah. Wearing a weird green top hat and a tiny green suit. Oh, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trapped in my mother's womb. It's like uh There you go, I found it. It's like Luke Skywalker I, crawling out of the the Tauntaun. The Tauntaun. Yeah. <laughs> so he cuts his mother open. <laughs> he just cuts his way out. Oh, oh, oh. oh mother, I'm sorry you had to go this way. <laughs> <laughs> he just Superman flies away. <laughs> That's his first bit of life is apologizing to his mother for killing her, then Superman flies. Oh, out I of remember there. the day I lost my mother. And then I rode a rainbow all the way to Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Leprechaun, can you tell us about your mother? Oh, she was a big white furry monster. So are you saying that, that she was like a big woman? Oh, I don't know. I only saw her from the inside, just like yours. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why would he see someone else's mother from the inside? I don't think I want to know. I I don't want you to elaborate on that. I used my one eye shall hear it and poked her with it. I'm not. No, you're not going to talk about that? No, that's just, that's weird. <laughs> but I do enjoy the new permanent headcanon of leprechauns being born by polar bears doing it. Yeah. And I have found my voice. You did? It took me a while. It did. But I'm here. Let's see. Look at this. We're We're like... We're not even done with the first half. And we're good for the rest of the episode now. Yep. How about that? You huh? got it. You just you don't want to go on with this anymore, do you? There's nowhere to go from that. How after about this? You ready? Watch this. Are you feeling lucky, punk? Is that a good joke? <laughs> <laughs> I just I got nothing on that. Just just click the music. How do you feel about your lucky stars? That's why they're in my lucky charms. I got nothing on it. I still have it. a gun. Yeah, I, I know. I don't, it's like, for some reason, this leprechaun is using guns now. Well, for the first one, it was Dirty Harry. Yes. But now it's just he has a gun. And now, now he's just going around holding people up. <laughs> Give me my gun back. <laughs> He, he goes to the hood, sees a guy wearing like like a gold chain. Oh no! And like, then he like leaves, and then everyone goes, "Have y'all seen the leprechaun?" Say, hey. Anybody seen the leprechaun? Say yeah! <laughs> it's the start of that video. Just he's hiding up in the tree, like pointing guns at people, like "Give me my cold." <laughs> but one of them is there, who actually found it and had to birth his children. It's just like. <laughs> Maybe he actually was just a crackhead, got a hold of some bad stuff. <laughs> what is this world we've created? I don't know. What is this? I don't know. This is so crazy. Yes. And fun. Indeed. <laughs> That's one way to put it, Adam. Yes. There you go. Moving yes. on. So this one. Is an obituary. Oh. But it, Uh-oh. it is an obituary for an Irishman who died five years ago. 
Uh, and it has got to be one of the funniest fucking obituaries out there. I love that. Yes. So the very first paragraph, and that's uh, the only paragraph uh, paragraph that has been made public. Chris Connors died at age 67 after trying to box his bikini-clad hospice nurse just moments earlier. Ladies' man, game slayer, and outlaw Connors told his last inappropriate joke on Friday night, December 9th, 2016, that which cannot be printed here. Anyone else fighting ALS and stage 4 pancreatic cancer would have gone quietly into that good night. But Connors was stark naked drinking some kind of liquor in a house full of friends and family as Al Green played through the speakers. Oh my God. The way he died is just like the way he lived. He wrote his own rules, he fought authority, and he paved his own way. And if you said he couldn't do it, he'd make good and goddamn sure he could. Wow. This man also aspires to levels of no fucks given that I aspired. Or or he uh, accomplished these levels yeah. of no fucks oh, yeah. given he that I aspired it. to. Yeah, the other guy, yeah. is a, he's a tryhard. Yeah, he's a tryhard. This dude, at age 67, drinking stark naked around his friends and family, listening to Al Green... It's just a beautiful thing to imagine. Isn't that how you want to go out? Drinking Irish liquor yeah. in a room full of my friends and family while I'm naked listening to Al Green sounds like heaven. Yeah, maybe you've already died. Maybe I'm Chris Connors. Is this heaven? Am I dead? Are you dead? What is this? But yeah, no, that is just... If that's not... The the quintessential Irishman. I don't know what is. Yeah. The the Irish live a hard, fun life. Yes, with they no do. Regrets. No. Um, they do not look back with any form of sadness. Except for about the IRA, but you know. Well, and the, the potato famine. And the potato famine. Um and leprechauns. Yes. <laughs> and leprechauns, yes. Um, no, I think um, that's just one of those. Well, I don't know, man. That's just that, that's such a great way to go out. Yeah, I mean, it's it was an obituary, but I'm coming with nothing but like heartwarming shit this week. Yeah, yeah. Except for this last story, it's just fucking weird. That's okay. I have an extra one this week, Sud. So, yeah, but it is also in regards to an Irish woman. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> and I. I uh, hope my life isn't so sad. We'll get there. <laughs> oh, God. We'll get there. I'm practicing that voice for that. Yes. Um, how, okay, well, how about this? I think this brings up a good question. That guy went exactly how he wanted to go. How do you want to go? I think we and talked it, about this. We have a diving. little bit, but we've talked about the existentialism of what death is. Skydiving. So you want a heart attack midair or... Just hit the ground. Just hit the ground. Done. Yep. Flat as a pancake. Yep. Yeah. And I think the excitement you experience from playing to ground, I don't know. I feel like that last 100, 200 feet is going to be a little bit traumatic. But Well, you know, it's not necessarily the falling that kills you. It's the stopping. Yeah, because everything in your body is like here, and then it's just, it just yes. all rushes to the front. You have terminal velocity shooting your organs out of your body. And if you ever want to see something absolutely Horrible and disgusting. Do you think anything comes out of your butt? <laughs> your body eviscerates. Really? Yes. And I, I know this from my criminology courses. We had to uh, examine crime scenes and try to deduce what happened. And there was one uh, where we looked at a man who fell out of a, like a hotel 25 floors up, drunk, hit the ground. His body was no longer. So I can tell you from fact that the body the human body just eviscerates when it hits the ground at such a high and it doesn't bounce either it's just no it hits and spreads wow yes i think i saw something like that on rotten.com whenever i was a kid oh dude rotten.com that is yeah. that was what a uh, world star hip-hop before world star hip-hop well not really it didn't really have like videos of fighting it was just dead people yeah but in world, very like gruesome ways but like world star hip-hop has that shit now too really yeah they're like the the weird shitty like poor cousin of uh live leaks do um like 
So like during videos when when someone's dying, is there also someone there going world star? Oh god! <laughs> like some dude gets hit by a car, and just someone in the back going, "What's world our hip hop? What's our hip hop?" Oh, I see you died there, he laddie. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get my gold back. <laughs> There's just some like oh, world star hip hop. There's just some like homeless major dude running around in a green suit, robbing dead bodies. <laughs> He's like stealing wallets. Oh my gold! <laughs> it just turns into like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> He's just. <laughs> and they run around and pick up gold off dead bodies. Yeah, he's just like hyper sprinting. I gotta go fast. I gotta go fast. <laughs> he can see some guy fall from a plane. He's just fucking dead sprinting at him. I gotta call the word star. Make sure they're there. I gotta get it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's about it for that one. Uh, well, hold on. Let me tell you how I can die. Oh, okay. okay. We, we, <laughs> roundabout way of getting there Mm -hmm. um no i i think i want to like no matter no matter what age i am as long as you kind of want to know i think unexpectedly is a sad way of course Uh i don't think there's any ways about that um but if you know that's your last night and i have my and my body is able i mean i just want to throw a fucking rager right hanging out okay Good chats by the fire at the end of it. You need to have a good post-party kind of calm down. Would you do heroin? No, because then it wouldn't really be coherent, right? That's kind of like whenever they like check you full of morphine before you die or something like that. And you just, you don't feel, sense, nothing. You're just numb. Is that a thing? Yeah. Well, like Jack Kevorkian? Um, yeah. There's other ways of it. Um, I know whenever, I think it's whenever someone's like, um, terminally ill and uh-huh. all they have is like pain and they just like give them as much morphine as they can. And when you know, it's like around the corner that they like pass naturally. So you do, they just have like a lot of morphine in them so that they're numb whenever that moment comes or huh. leading up to that moment. All right then. That's um, depressing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it kind of takes away from me dying with a lot of friends Yeah, around a fire. Yep. <laughs> Isn't that a sad way to go? That is. This took a really sad turn. I'm trying to lift it up. Yes, you are. <laughs> and next in our evening booze. God damn it. Son of a bitch. That is twice. This I'm is a too, rough. This, too, is, this is rough. This is a good episode. Okay, he didn't say anything. See, he doesn't think so. This is rough. Here's what I think. I like this. <laughs> That's what I think. Okay, good. <laughs> Fun fact. Okay. Um, Fun retort. I didn't have it up. Oh. But what I will say is this is actually a really, really, really interesting story that I think you'll appreciate. Okay. Because um, just as, you know... Um, Leprechauns are stewards of magic, is one yes. way to put it, right? Um, but this person is a sleight of hand artist. Um, but he, there's a story that goes along with this. So I found this on a Reddit post. And I'll read you the post, but my main reason of having it here is the comment, the first comment on it. Okay. This um, is, these are always good. So um, there was a sleight of hand artist, Apollo Robbins, was so proficient that he once managed to pick the pockets of two secret agents uh, assigned to former president Jimmy Carter. He managed to steal the former president's itinerary, the keys to his motorcade, and the badges of the agents. Oh, wow. Um, but here's the... I thought, okay, that's interesting, but here's the good story. Okay. Penn Gillette. Whom I love. Yeah. I can only assume you do. Yeah, that. absolutely. Um, I love watching their show. Uh, bullshit. Uh, not only bullshit, but Fool Us. Oh, yeah. That's great, too. Yeah. They have, uh, what, that one Asian guy on there who's, like, really good. Yeah, he's just yeah. fucking unreal. Um, ben Gillette of the act Penn and Teller was introduced to a soft-spoken young man named Apollo Robbins, who has a reputation as a pickpocket of almost supernatural ability. Gillette, who ranks pickpockets, he says, a few notches below hypnotists on the showbiz totem pole. 
So he does not think highly of them. And of course, yeah. he will tell you his opinion. He's very opinionated. Um, was holding court at a table of colleagues, and he asked Robbins for a demonstration, ready to be unimpressed. Robbins demurred, claiming that he felt uncomfortable working in front of other magicians. He pointed out that since Gillette was wearing only shorts and a sports shirt, he wouldn't have much to work with. Come on, Gillette said, steal something from me. Again, Robbins begged off, but he offered to do a trick instead. He instructed Gillette to place a ring that he was wearing on a piece of paper and trace its outline with a pen. By now, a small crowd had gathered. Gillette removed his ring, put it down on the paper, unclipped a pen from his shirt, and leaned forward, preparing to draw. After a moment, he froze, looked up, and his face was pale. Fuck you, he said, and slumped into his chair. Robbins held up a thin, cylindrical object, the cartridge from Gillette's pen. Oh, wow. How do you fucking do that? I don't know. <laughs> that is like magic. It is like magic. Oh, I wish you'd teach me that one, fella. Dude, that, that makes me think of this one uh, card shark that they had on their show, uh, Full Us. This blind guy, maybe in his late 60s, was able to shuffle a deck and deal it in any order he wanted. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. and he Did he, he fool them or did they figure it out? They had no idea how he did it. That's insane. He's like one of three people on the planet who is so proficient at dealing cards. He can literally like open a new deck, feel the cards, figure out what the fuck they are, and deal them exactly how he wants. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, it, it did a really close, like, zoom in on a, his, like, dealing. And he was plucking cards from, like, the middle of the deck without you even being able to tell. It looked like he was just pulling off the top, but, but he was pulling, like, halfway through between, like, two fingers and dealing. Whoa. Yeah, absolutely fascinating shit. So here's your little segment of Adam and Andy that's not humorous, but it's really interesting. Yes. I think that the the magic world gets shit on a lot, um, obviously because a lot of the participants are... I had a magic set odds. when I was a kid. I did as well. I had my um, own little wand. A little magic wand that you can yep. stretch out and shrink down. Yep, um, I had one of those, and I played with it until it broke. I remember... Um, oh, man, I was, I, I was a kid in Miami... Um, I don't remember how old I was, like 10 or 11. Um, and we were walking around the little markets over by the beach, and there was a a, a vendor in a little well, like street marketplace that was selling the whole like magic sets and shit. And they they definitely convinced me. My dad wasn't convinced, but they convinced me to buy a big $50 kit or whatever. Well, that's why he wasn't convinced, because he yeah. had to fucking pay for it. Exactly. Um, and it's and, why they and went it, after you and not him. Yeah, and it's so much happened. Like, I, I walked by, they tried to pitch us on it, and I was like, wow, that's really fucking cool. I didn't say fucking, but... And my dad's like, no, 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 you don't need it, you don't need it. And then we walked, and then we walked back, and they targeted me, and they didn't approach me and start talking to me about it, and Eventually, I, I convinced my dad, and what came of it is nothing. I mean, uh, <laughs> I, I learned nothing from the kit. Um, I barely know how to, like, do a bridge. Yeah, the only thing I learned from it that is kind of handy is the Egyptian shuffle, and I didn't learn from that. I learned that later on whenever I was learning more, like, card tricks, which, uh -huh. I, again, I've forgotten all of, but the only thing I remember is an Egyptian shuffle where um, whatever card is on the top or bottom I can decide stays the same whenever I shuffle. Oh, that's cool. So. And it's not like a big shuffle where like you're doing a bunch of stuff. You're just like kind of moving cards and yeah. it stays the same. That's cool. Um, that's really it, man. That's uh, I thought that that would be an interesting story. That is an I interesting didn't story. Intend to line it up with today because again, you know me, I have a whole like list of of stories, but I think that that one lines up pretty well with that. Does who knows? Maybe he's a leprechaun. I like it. Hey, the volume was up this time. Yeah, came ready. The title of this one, Irish woman legally marries a 300-year-old ghost, says the lovemaking is fantastic. It's out of this world! <laughs> Shit, that was really good, actually. That was really good. Thank you. So, the ghost of a Haitian pirate proposed marriage to, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, uh, a woman after she told the spirit she was no longer content with casual sex. 
So wait, hold on. Okay, so this is like one of those Ghostbusters things where Ghost shows up, he's he's ready to go, and she's like, "Sure," and then they do it, and then it keeps happening, and then she says, "No, no, 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 we're moving this thing forward." Yeah. What do you think his ectoplasm looked like? <laughs> do you think it was, was green? It, was it see through? Do you think it was green like Slimer? Does he think he looks or sounds like Slimer? I hope so. <laughs> this 300 year old Haitian pirate ghost. <laughs> so, a 45 year old woman from this area married the ghost, the, the ghost of an 18th century Haitian pirate after the couple met when she felt his presence laying beside her in bed in 2014. Mm. Amanda Teague from this area traveled to international waters to marry her pirate partner, Jack, through the means of a medium after telling the spirit she was no longer happy to just have casual sex. Oh, so it sounds like it's not so much that she wasn't allowed to marry him in Ireland. It's just that she couldn't find someone that could. That would marry her to a ghost. So she needed to find someone that would tell her that they. The 300-year-old ghost of a Haitian pirate that looks, there. sounds, and excretes like Slimer. Slimer. Shoving hot dogs down his throat. Which is our second Ghostbusters reference. Yeah. Hell yeah. So Teague. Hey, who brought the dog? Third one. Teague has five children. Oh. Yes. From Ooh. a previous marriage with a living man. They are sure. What does he think To of throw all this? that in there. I would love to know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she believes she found her soulmate in the 300 year old dead Haitian pirate. Does, does he have a soul? Do ghosts have souls? I guess they do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the rules. I don't get it. So this woman works as a Jack Sparrow impersonator. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> she believes it was the pirate link that brought her that brought her own Haitian pirate to her. She even claims the sex is better than with living men. <laughs> I would love to hear... A breakdown of what ghost sex is. He pokes me with his poker geist. Fuck me. That was actually good. Damn it. So th this article goes on for a shockingly long time. Um, <laughs> okay. So she wrote a book claiming that her and her 300 year old ghost Haitian pirate husband. Uh, they wrote a book together saying, Oh, what was he? He was a ghostwriter. You're on the A game right now. The title of the book ain't no grave can hold my body back. <laughs> <laughs> and what the book is about. Mm -hmm. It's how to advise people who are single on meeting a ghost. Yes. On how to bag their own ghost. Uh, on how to smang it. <laughs> smang it. <laughs> how to smash it and bang it with uh, an incorporeal form. I think you can target anyone. Do you think that they can like... Um, well, it, it kind of goes back to earlier. like Yeah, going as, back in time. And like, like as a medium. Yeah. If you could contact someone, who would it be? Contact. Then other people would say, like, their soulmate. And they could just say that, and the medium just, like, finds someone. And then it, it, it turns out to be, like, George Lucas. What if your soulmate was, your was like, your great-great-grandfather? Well, that's interesting. Yeah. And I guess incest is a little more lenient back in the day, too. Probably not in the great-great time, but maybe... No, no, like, no. I just mean, like... The, you bring up a good point. The like, six or seven grades. Because obviously right now, today, there's a morality structure around how Is we there? Because Pornhub would tell me otherwise. Well, okay. That's step siblings and stuff, right? Yeah. But um, so the way it's structured now is like, okay, obviously there are those things outside of this circle that are illegal. Yes. Okay? But you go back a thousand years, that circle and those things that are illegal, I mean, I think it's not even a circle anymore. It's just gone. Everything goes. So what if... What? Well, up to a, a point. Maybe. Okay, yeah. Almost everything goes. It's a big circle. Yeah. Um, so what if, like, you, you contact the medium and 
fucking goat pops up. <laughs> you know? And, and it's like, this This is your soulmate. You align perfectly in every way and manner. Bye! <laughs> okay, so... And you're like, oh, I don't... I don't really feel comfortable with this, but... I, I guess. So I gotta give it a try. I will say that YouTube Red had a pretty good original series. Okay. Um... Every episode, it was like an anthology series. Every episode was just something completely different and weird as shit. But it took place in like this uh, this future time. Well, in this future time, uh, there was there was like this dating company to where like you go in, you fill out a really extensive questionnaire, you like give them blood, they'll do all this blood work and shit like that, and they'll put you together with like your absolute perfect soulmate. Yeah. Well. The the dad or like the grandpa from Modern Family. Oh, Al Bundy. Yes, um, uh, gets matched up. Ed, Ed O'Neill, I think. Is yeah, he gets matched up with like this twenty three year old guy. Oh, oh, interesting. Yes, and the whole episode is like the beginning of it. They're like, well, this has to be a mistake because the the company will like set you up on a blind date and you go and go yeah, on from there. Yeah, yeah. And they meet and they're like, well, this has to be a mistake, but then. After one's leaving, the other one's like, hey, do you want to, like, go get, like, coffee or, like, something? Like, just go, like, do something? It's real fun to hang out And it with. turns into, like, a really romantic relationship <laughs> that just gets explored for, like, 30 minutes. And you wouldn't expect to see Ed O'Neill making out with this kid who's, like, 40 years younger than him <laughs> in this show. What I mean, they do not hold back. Oh, my. Yes. And I wish I, I'm going to have to look up what, what this show was because it is a thoroughly entertaining show. And like that, like bringing up like the goat. It could happen. It could happen. You know, it, 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 it might just be one of those things where you just really enjoy their company. Yeah. Like if it's a goat, that's really all, all you can do. Is no, enjoy no, their company. No, no, because now, now see, that's you and your simple mind talk. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm please. In defense of goat fuckers. Enlighten me <laughs> on the fine arts of goat fucking. <laughs> hey. I don't think goats eat hay. That's horses. That's true. Well, and also the people that. Um, would find themselves in this situation, like whenever the goat pops up, they'd say something like, I like this. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> yes, very good use of that drop. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I think that, that makes sense. Um, I, okay, again, no, I'm not going to go to the defense of goat fuckers. Um, I think you should. But, but what if you, but what? Okay, maybe I might somehow find my way in this situation. I'm not going to head towards it, but... What if you are with that medium and they say, okay, here's your soulmate and it is a goat. Are you going to be like Ed O'Neill and that guy and just kind of hang out for a little bit? And then, cause well, then you, and maybe even the ghost thinking the same thing. Maybe he's like, or she, or I don't know. Let's just assume it's a male goat. <laughs> like you're both going to have to a give dude it. A and a male goat. You're, you're just, both going to have to give it to each other. Well, obviously you're not crossing that bridge right when you see them because you're going to be like, man, like, I, I don't, I don't, this doesn't make any sense. Maybe like you see the goat and like in your subconscious, you're thinking it's kind of a, a hot goat. And then you start to go to yourself on. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, and then you get his cheese. <laughs> oh, okay. What do you think his ectoplasm <laughs> looks like? Goat cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Goat cheese on you? God, what if that was actually goat cheese? But you, you know how like goat cheese is packaged? It's like packaged in a, a larger cylindrical like thing. What if it just comes out like a giant pellet? <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's just, like still hard. It just plops on your chest. <laughs> like it bounces off. <laughs> just rolls down. And you go, do it again. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, I think bestiality is where we end that one. Uh, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, God bless. Oh, man. Um, I came across this one recently. Oh, did you? Um, and this is, I wanted to add this one in. I was like, man, I, I want to talk about this. I have to talk about this. This Game of Thrones loving lawyer explained why he's seeking a trial by combat. I feel like I've heard about this. Um, so I, I, uh, I mean, I can go into it and I can kind of read about it, but essentially, um, this guy, or he was representing someone. No, it was him actually. Um, he owed investors half a million dollars. Yeah. You're not going to trial by combat your ass out of that. Well, he was talking to the judge. He says, technically it was never outlawed. It's still a part of our law. And I call for a trial by combat um, in order for these debts to be, or at least decide, decide the direction of where these debts go. Either they are going to be brought to my estate or they are null and void. Do you think he would call for a champion? What's that? The right of a champion in trial by combat? Does that mean, like, if you kill them? No, you get to pick someone to fight for you. Oh! um, I don't know if that's part of the law either. Because, you know, like, I mean, if it is, like, a trial by combat thing, does the law state it has to be you? I don't know. I don't know. I just know Game of Thrones where you can pick a champion. Um, yeah, I mean, if it is like that, I know what you're referencing. You're referencing um, the mountain. and Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Game um, of Thrones loving lawyer got to make a Game of Thrones reference. He calls up half Thor. Yes. <laughs> and so then the other person calls in, um, what's the, his name? The Red Viper. The Mandalorian yeah. guy. Yeah. Um, so he said this. Sorry, I just kind of lost my thought. Um, he said this to the judge, and the judge says, while you are correct, this is um, still part of the law. Um, it is under my authority to say that it's not applicable right now, and you owe the money. Too bad. And what if the judge had allowed it? Oh, my God. Put it on TV. Yeah. Like, how wasn't it Rudy Giuliani, like, before the, the Capitol riots was calling for trial by combat? Immediately before it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, did he mean it from a legal standpoint? He's a lawyer. Yeah, he is a lawyer, and he was calling for a trial by combat. So do you think, like, in the lawsuits that he was, like, in charge of, he's basically saying, Judge, I want to fight <laughs> whoever you put up there. I'm ready to go. And the judge chooses half floor. <laughs> for America. <laughs> Just rips his arms off. <laughs> ah! He crushes his head. I did it. And then the hair grease, like, goes everywhere. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, that weird, like, fake hair that he sprayed in. Oh, my god! It was, gosh. like, dribbling down his face. That could work. It, I could see that. Yeah. It, this could be a good comedy bit. This could be a good comedy bit. Yeah. Is there more legs to this? We need to ride this one out? I think this could be a good Doug Bobby bit. Trial by combat? Yeah. <laughs> this is how I bring back Doug Bobby. Mm-hmm. Um, court proceedings. Um, Doug is in court, and he... he I'm calling for a trial by combat. Um, whoever you call up, you know, we can fight. That'd be okay. I choose Brad Pitt. <gasps> but it's like Fight Club. Yes. And I'm fighting myself. Oh. Oh. There okay. you go. Okay. That's the, that's the link. But I think with your beard, you wouldn't feel any of the punches. You know, people think that, and they're wrong. My face hurts if you hit it. That was one of the saddest <laughs> declarations I think I've ever heard from you. <laughs> I'm just cut that. My face hurts if you hit it. Yeah, my face hurts <laughs> if you hit it. People think that a lot, and they're wrong. <laughs> Rappers do have feelings. They, they keep on trying to hit me in the face, and I just keep telling them. It's it, just hair. It hurts, man. Yeah. Like me, if I sleep in my beard, and it gets, like, pressed up... It, that motherfucker hurts in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Your stuff's all bent out of shape. Yeah, and then I gotta like fucking like massage it back into shape or just is like sticking up in a really weird area for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have that problem, mate. 
mate. Uh oh. Yeah, you're going uh, back to Australia. Like oh, you're shit. I was you're, doing you're so warping well. like in and out of it now. I love a kangaroo. <laughs> An Australian <laughs> leprechaun. Yeah, he could do that. He could be like um it's a crocodile leprechaun. I was I was going more like the kangaroo route in my head. In a pot of fosters. Yeah. There you go. At first, my head with the fosters immediately went to like foster children. Oh, like yeah, and there's like just, a bunch of Oliver Twists. Yeah, and, and, and there's just a, like a kangaroo that can speak in a stupid voice, just hanging out in a pot full of like foster kids. Like, oh, hello. <laughs> oh, is this easy? Sound Australian or Irish? I don't know. Like that's that's really. Hmm. That's one for, uh... <laughs> Where do you kids come from? That's one for a smarter man than I to figure out. Okay, should I think about it so I can prove you as an inferior man to my brain? No. See, now I just, just don't even want to try. I'm broken. Are you already torn? Like Natalie and Bruglia? Who? Natalie and Bruglia. She, she sings that, that torn song. I'm already torn, cold yeah. and I'm shamed, lying naked on the floor. See, I would pull it up and play it, but then we'd get, like, marked. You know that fucking song. I know I you do. I don't know what you're talking Fuck about. Fuck you. Should I play it? No, because then it's... I swear to God, if you actually know how to play it on this stupid fucking thing. <laughs> God damn it. Sitting in the morning sun. <laughs> I'll be sitting when I hear the call. <laughs> Watching the ships roll in. <laughs> Watch them roll away again. <laughs> Suds? My partner has lost his fucking mind. Sitting on a dock of the vape. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah, I am actually. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I think that, that came out pretty good. Because I, I know how I'm going to edit it now, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. I like that. I'm not going to add anything to it. It's art. Good. This has mm. been a weird fucking St. Patty's Day. Yes, it has. And I wouldn't change it for anything. No. You know what? I like this. You know what I would change? Fucking daylight savings time. Oh, man. What a fucking joke that is. Yeah. I woke up at 8 o'clock yesterday. Um, Right before it, actually. Because mm-hmm. um, I guess my body, who's expecting the alarm, I guess now at 530, you know, and I'm going to bed at whatever time I go at. And you know when it goes off six? No, no. It, it's hard to explain. But my body didn't react to when the alarm went off. And so I slept right through it. I've done that before. And it's a terrible feeling. Yeah. Then you race out of bed and you're like, oh, shit. I woke up at 4 a.m. today. Oh, my God. I've been awake ever since. But that would have been like 3 a.m. Yeah. Huh. That's how fucked my sleep schedule is. Yeah. You're yeah. A, you're not a duck. I am. I'm a very odd duck. I was going to try to make a joke there, but I'm kind of too tired to try to make a joke. You just say you're an odd fuck. I am. I think my ex would say that too. I like that. <laughs> 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 uh, record right there and end it. Yeah, just end the episode um, right there. Um, but okay, we'll make this quick. Um, Suds, thank you so much for listening to this very odd St. Patty special, of which I have no idea what to title it, but I will figure it out. Um, suck and suck. assist. Suck and assist. Goat ghost. Goat boyfriend. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that we're on to something there. My my thousand pound life. Goat cheese. I'm partial to that one. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm partial to that one. I like that one. Um, but anyway, um, TikTokers, thank you so much for the support you had. Come on over here if you don't hear this. I mean, I'm, I don't know. Tell your friends. Welcome to the Sud Nation. Yes. Um, YouTubers. That was a, that was a huge show of support there. So I'm yeah. very very happy about it. So if you are hearing this, thank you so much. It means a lot, a whole bunch. Um, if you just want to listen to us on audio, um, that's really where we live. Um, I guess not so much anymore after this last week. Yeah, I with mean, only two listens, and I wasn't one of them. And I was. Yeah. So one other random person. And we had a we had a lot more people on YouTube and a ton more people on TikTok. Yeah. I, we almost I, broke a thousand on our very first ever TikTok. On two of them. Yeah, and I feel like that's kind that's of a feat. Saying something. But I don't know anything about TikTok. We'll see what we pull from this episode. <laughs> oh God, I don't know what we could. I'm curious, maybe we'll get canceled if we just start talking about bestiality. Yeah, who knows? Um. Anyway. <laughs> um. Yeah. What else am I doing? Go to our website, adam com. I tried to put our video up on the episode thing. It didn't work. Uh-huh. I don't know why it didn't work. You couldn't just do like YouTube. Link? I tried, um, and it didn't like didn't do anything that I wanted it. So I tried to embed it. I tried yeah. to post it as a direct video. None of it worked. And it works on my uh, whenever I was on the spoon fed website. It worked whenever I did it before. So yeah, really weird. Weird. Um, YouTube must have changed something with their their coding. I so I don't know. Um, I'll figure it out. I'll fix it. Um, am I missing anything? Not that oh, I can think of. Instagram, Facebook at. Adam mm. also Andy TikTok. If you guys have not gone to our TikTok yet, at Adam also Andy, wanted to make sure it stayed the same. Um, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, Andy and I are working on something sizable. I think. Yes. Do we want to give a hint? No. It is a town. How about that? Yeah, that's all I was going to say. Oh, okay. We're we're working on our next town. But we won't tell you what town it is. No. But from the towns we visited. I think people can great way to reference. It. Yeah, can deduct. I don't think so. Okay. Um, Good luck. And as always, I'm Adam. And I'm Andy. Happy St. Patty's Day. <laughs>